Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing about what is CMD, what is CMI, what are the synchronization mechanism and what is process tag type and process time. So let's get dive in. Our agenda, control module type, control module instance, synchronization. So CMD is nothing but a CFC plane consisting of number of FBs to satisfy one operation. For example, here you can see I have a CFC plane and here inside it I have a processing block and a monitoring block. These both blocks are nothing but FB instances. So these two blocks may have interactions in between them and to communicate with outside world. For example, if we are communicating with any other charts or any other memory variables or directly to the I.O. addresses of the I.O. cards, we will be having one concept called ascendance. So it is nothing but when these blocks are communicating in interlink to the inside blocks, we will call it as interconnections. And when they are trying to communicate with outside of this CMD, then we will term that concept called ascendance. So as in previous videos, I've told we'll be having one template logic in master data library that is instantiated in every user project. So this is the CMD is termed as the template logic and this template logic will be implemented in every user project as per requirement. So I think you might already have a basic understanding of what logics might be implemented in CMD. So for standard logics for analog monitoring, wall or PID tuning of blocks, so the logics can be written in single CMT. That CMT will be instantiated in projects by changing the name. That is termed as CMI, control module instance. So we can instantiate n number of control module instances in various projects when we have a base template in master data library. Now we are in our workstation. Now we will see how we can create a control module type and instantiate that control module type in our project. We will open schematic manager. We will navigate to the master data library. Here is the master data library. We can navigate to this master data library via component view or plant view. For ease sake and we are working on logics so I prefer plant view for this operation. I'll navigate to plant view and here I have three subfolders models, process type types and shared declarations. So I'll be creating my own hierarchy folder inside the library. Here it came with process cell 3. I'll change the name into CM. Open it. On the right side plane, you can navigate with context menu right click. Insert new object and you can insert control module type. Nothing but CM. So our CMD is instantiated. I mean CMD was placed in library. Now we can create our own logics in this CMT. Double click to open the CMT. Then you can see a similar CFC plane will be opened. But you can observe some options on top toolbar which is not observed in regular CFC editor. So here I'll navigate to library and I'll try to implement some standard blocks here. As is shown in PT, here I am inserting a processing block for analog and monitoring block. And here I can make interconnections manually to my PV link to PV. The interconnection is made between the blocks. So in order to connect through global addresses or a charts outside the project, we need to connect the blocks to TED level. 
this white area will be termed as red technological level so i will drag this block to red level and i will drag this pin also to the red level under this block so as i told then we are trying to connect the internal parameters of cmd to outside world this is the gate so here the pv signal was connected to the cm1 pv as an assignment so this is assigned to this pin so whenever i am trying to make connection with a hardware signal that is directly connected to this assignment which is nothing but this pv variable so i hope you understand already this pv when we are connecting to outside charts or any memory address or a hardware signal it should be dragged to this tet area and it will be turned into assignment but when we are directly connecting any pins internally inside uh, two fb blocks inside one cmd there is no requirement of adding those pins to tet now as we created this cmd I will close this CMT. I will rename this as AI read. So now I will instantiate this block into my projects. Here I have two user projects, which has three hierarchy structure in one project and one hierarchy structure. Hierarchy is nothing but a folder in one project. So now I can simply drag this. and drop it into my required location so it will create an instance that mean in this view yeah you can see the instance will be symbolized like this and type will be symbolized like this so i can make n number of instances by simply dragging and dropping into my required location so this is on cmd and these are CMI instances which are derived from CMT. So now, what is this synchronization of CMT to CMI? Let me explain. Since we already have created this CMT, we will try to drag and drop few more blocks inside the CMT and make interconnection between them. and as you can see this newly added blocks were only in cmt there is nothing additional blocks were introduced in both of cmis so if you want to make exact replica of cmt to cmi after instantiating few cmis into my user projects in multi project there is an option called synchronization navigate on a user project right click go to plan types and there you can find synchronize so it will show my library and what are the subfolders inside my library so here i want to instantiate here my cmt into all my user projects i can click on what cmt i need to synchronize press on synchronize so it will show the differences between my project area and library area if you can clearly see under my first project under my cmi under the cfc chart editor i have two more blocks which is and and nand added in library this b is library master data library area and in the project there is the difference so if i press synchronize template it will automatically update my blocks to the project close 
and I can close this. So now if I open my AI read in this project, the blocks that are added in CMD will be shown here. So the CM my was synchronized with CMD. Similarly, we can do the same to this project also. Right click, plant apps, synchronize. Which CMT you want? As we created only one, it is showing a single CMT. Synchronize. Yes. So now there is no difference between both CMI instances and CMT. This is how synchronization can be performed from master data library holding CMD to my user projects which holding CMI. Now we will see what is process tag type and what is process tag. So since we already seen what is CMD and what is CMI, process tag type and process tag is also a similar concept. So but what is the main difference? The implementation algorithm for CMD and process tag type is same but process tag type is lagging the synchronization concept as it created fast while creating PC7 itself. The CMT and CMI concepts are new. They are recently developed and implemented in the software. The, as I told, this TTT don't have synchronization. Once it is created and instantiated, that's it. If you want to make any modification in PTT, there is no concept of synchronization into plan type again. You need to delete the plan tags in the project and you need to reinstantiate the plan tags. I mean process tag. So here we are in our workstation again. So here you can see a default folder for process tag types. We can navigate into this or we can directly create in our custom hierarchy folder. The procedure for creating process tag types is as follows. We will create one CFC. So our CFC is created in the library. We'll open the CFC and we'll add some blocks. Basically, uh, the blocks uh, which we here add will serve a purpose like uh, just we have done, right? That monitoring and processing block collectively uh, becomes an A read. So similar blocks will be added in this CFC area. Here you don't find any technological I.O. area as it is a similar to normal CFC editor. Now we will close this editor and I will right click navigate to process tags and create a process tag type. We will be having one wizard which will walk through us to create a process tag type. So generally process tag type will be shown with this icon and process tags will be shown with this icon. Next. So similarly here the I was we need to add to create a process tag type. Similarly to the CMI here we will add the I was like parameters and signals, we will add them here. So all parameters I have added, press finish. So you can observe my CFC is turned into a process tag type. So how we will import this process tag type into my project? Simply you can drag and drop the process tag type like we did with CMD. So you can see my process tag type is created. Or there is another processor for this process tags which I will share with you now. Right click process tags create an, an import file. So what happens here is the process tag will be saved in excel format so it is used for importing into my user projects. So I will be creating a template file It is saving with CFC 100 in this global location. So what are the parameters I am selecting to store in this IEA file? 
I need block name, block icon, block groups. We can select any chart or other and parameter uh, specific attributes. If the parameter having RK variable, it will be selected. These things will be user defined. Press on OK. So my IEA file was created. Finish. So if I want to import this IEA file into my user project, I can navigate to plan types. Clicking on my process tag, I need to navigate to process tags and press on import. So this wizard will navigate how we we will import the process tags into our user project. The advantage here is we can do bulk engineering while performing this. This is the file that we have created previously. So I'll open the file. A separate application called IEA file editor will be open and it will show my all attributes which I have selected in a excel manner in tabular form so i can click on this right click and i can duplicate the rows right. duplicate rows i will duplicate file process text so i will change the name I changed my chart names and I am saving my file. Close. Next. And finish. This will automatically create my process tags in my project. Exit. You can see a pro folder called process tags got created inside my user pod. I can click on this. And I can view all my process tags that are created with the naming conventions that I have given. So we can cut and paste inside our project as we require. So that's how we will instantiate process tags, process tag types from master data library into my user project. So let's summarize what we have done throughout the video. We have Familiarized how to create CMT, how to instantiate CMT inside our project as CMI, how to synchronize our CMTs into CMI after making modifications in CMT, and what is process tag type, and what are process tags, how we can instantiate process tag types into process tags inside our user project. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and mention in comments if you have any queries. Thank you and we'll meet you in the next video. Goodbye.